to talk about Freemasonic symbology. And I, I want people to understand that Freemasonry in and of itself is not an evil ideology. Again, it is an occult system of knowledge that can be used for good or it can be used for ill or manipulation depending on who is wielding that knowledge. So this is the Freemasonic compasses and square with the letter G in the middle as depicted in American Freemasonry. The compasses represent higher consciousness and they represent morality, proper moral action. The square represents base consciousness, which must be ruled by our compassion and must be ruled by our moral uprightness. The square is base consciousness. It can be seen as the reptile brain. If you look at these three um, components as the three complexes of the brain, okay, you have the R complex being the square. You have the neocortex with its two hemispheres being the compasses, and you have the midbrain, that which gives birth to the conscience, care, as the G in the middle of the two. It represents the goddess, the grand architect of the universe, which is care. Okay, that's what creates our experience, what we care about. And if we get into touch with conscience, it can give birth to proper moral action. But we can only do that by getting in touch with the grand architect of the universe, the God principle, the, the sacred within us. And uh, that is how to get off of the square and onto the compass. See, the square traces a shape that is a square with 90 degree angles, not found in nature, rough edges. The, the circle traces the symbol of perfection in ancient uh, systems of occult knowledge. The circle is perfect, it is unbroken. It is a symbol of divinity. It can never be nailed down with perfection because it is based upon pi, a, a, a figure that uh, is a divine principle that can never be calculated with absolute certainty. So the object is to circle the square and have our compassion and our higher consciousness rule over our lower instincts and our animal instincts. And we do that through getting in touch with the care principle, the, the generative principle, the G, which is the grand architect of the universe, care, conscience. So it's about moral uprightness, and it can be equally seen by dark builders, by dark masons, to represent quite an opposite. This is what, how symbolism is in the eye of the beholder, and how the wielder of this symbol determines what it's really being used for based on their level of consciousness. So a dark mason, a rogue mason, a dark builder, so to speak, could see the symbol this way. Man is ignorant. He exists in base consciousness. And I, as one who has perfected myself, have the divine right to rule over the base man, the square, the he who is on the square. So uh, it's two different interpretations of the same symbol. One seen in a positive connotation and one seen in a manipulative negative connotation, depending on uh, the eye of the beholder of the wielder of the symbol.